ever since he failed to walk after edging Ashton Agar to slip at Trent Bridge in the 2013 Ashes. Stuart Broad has been regarded by most Australians as being prepared to push the boundaries of cricket spirit. Key points, new cricket rules make clear that Mancad dismissals are not unfair. New cricket rules make clear that Mancad dismissals are not unfair. The mode of dismissal has always been controversial. The mode of dismissal has always been controversial reaction to the ruling has been mixed. Never mind that the ball went into Michael Clarke's hands via Brad Haddon's gloves and few test batsmen walked before doctors arrived, especially not in an Ashes test broad was clearly a cheating pom. So there might be surprise over the veteran bowler's statement that, even though MCC has ruled the Mancad is not unfair play, he will not indulge in it. The Mancad, which is named, much to his family's annoyance, after former Indian spinning all-rounder Venu Mancad, occurs when a bowler interrupts their delivery stride to run out the non-striker if that batter is out of their crease. It has been seen more frequently with the growth of 20 over cricket as batsmen take on increasingly tight runs. In the IPL in 2019, there was much controversy when Ravi Ashwin manketed Joe's butler. Shane Warne and Michael Vaughan both condemned him. M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Watch 40 seconds 40 s the MCC has ruled that Ravi Ashwin was within his rights to Mancad, Joe's butler in the IPL. Last month a double Mancad in a Victorian second grade match between Kingston Hawthorne and Casey South Melbourne drew Ashwin's support amid criticism of the bowler. However, under a new set of laws announced by the MCC on Tuesday, which will take effect in October, Mancad dismissals will no longer be considered unfair play. Fraser Stewart, MCC Law's manager, explained, the bowler is always painted as the villain, but it is a legitimate way to dismiss someone, and it is the non-striker, who is stealing the ground. It is legitimate, it is a run-out and therefore it should live in the run-out section of the laws. Broad, Test Cricket's sixth most successful bowler, with 537 wickets, wrote on Twitter, so the Mancad is no longer unfair, and is now a legitimate dismissal. Hasn't it always been a legitimate dismissal, and whether it is unfair is subjective. Stuart Broad is no stranger to controversy, but he says he would not do a Mancad because they involve zero S. I think it is unfair and wouldn't consider it, as IMO, dismissing a batter is about S, and the Mancad requires zero S. When Twitter users responded to his posts, asking what the difference was between mancads and runouts, Broad replied, IMO runout is AS. Hearing someone run, sprinting full pace to pick up the ball and deciding which end to throw it in a split second and aiming your throw close to the stumps to run out. But former England captain Michael Atherton said, I've always thought it's totally unfair for the stigma to be on the bowler when it's the batter who is stealing ground, so I agree with the law change. I was always taught as a kid, you stay in your ground with your bat and you look up and wait until the bowlers release the ball, and then you move. And if that happens you won't have any mancads. Ironically, when Mancad first dismissed Aussie great Bill Brown this way in successive tests in 1947-48 coverage supported the Indian. Mancad was over generous in not having run him out the first time, wrote Arthur Maley. Mancad was quite entitled to do what he did and showed plenty of strength of character, wrote Bill O'Reilly. Brown himself later apologized to Mancad for the controversy saying, he taught me to smarten myself up. AAP